Hey guys, in this video lecture, we will allow the user to reply over the particular comment that user commented. You can assume the comment and reply as a parent-child relationship. This means a single comment can have multiple replies from different users. In this scenario, we will use or explore the recursive model relationship and why we need recursive relationships. This there arises many times in the development of modern web applications where the business requirements inherently describe relationships that are recursive so in our case the comment and their relationship to their replies which is also a comment yes you heard it right uh, the comment and their relationship to their replies which is also a comment which describes its re recursive relationship so open up the models.py file and inside the comment model create a field reply equals models dot foreign key and uh, we link it with the self parameter the first parameter should be self and we can also use comment here uh, write comment which says that the which describes the recursive relationship to this reply field and we'll say null equals true and we we'll need to give the related underscore name equals reply See, by specifying the self here as the pa first parameter of this foreign key called Django will set this up as recursive relationship. So you can also use comment here as well that, that I have already told you that this is now creating a recursive relationship to this reply field. And, uh, and the null equals true the model will allow to store comments without a reply and the related name replies is used to query the database for the replies of a particular comment now we'll need to make the migration so just go to the atom uh, terminal and write python manage.py make migrations and migrate to apply the changes you can also see the table structure by going into the mysql hyphen u root hyphen p root use my site you can show tables and excuse me use my site show tables select star from this is the table that we have created and see you can now be able to see here the reply id is now added into the table as a field and is null by default so now we will use a comment form as it is inside each comment which will work as a reply form if you go to the atom text editor and if you open up the post detail template just save the models.py file first and if you go to the post detail view we need to create a section inside the main comment section just of the block code and we'll say give some space and we'll say div class related excuse me it's called replied comments you can say and the container which and margin from the top should be two inside that we'll write div class form group row and inside that just copy the comment form as it is so that each and each comment has its own reply form and we are using that form as well so if we can check the site here so first we have need to run the server just exit from the mysql and write python manage py run server and go to the website here and if we click on post one we do have the comments and as you can see each comment has its own reply form I mean, this is a good post has its own command form it has its own command reply form excuse me <clears throat> but still we need a way to associate the replies with its content so just below CS with its con comment excuse me so just below CSRF token here if we go to the atom text editor post detail view and just after the CSRF token we'll need to create an input hidden type and we'll name it comment excuse me 
should be small comment underscore id and the value we'll pass is the comment dot id so if we save the file and check if the server is up and running and uh, if we go to the site here and click on web view page source we can see each po each comment form as you can see here each reply form has its own headings see this is the hidden, hidden input type each comment form has its value but the name is not coming up here why it is so oh, excuse me comment underscore id now if we refresh the page again and you can see the name is comment id and the value is one the comment is id name is comment id and the value is two this base this value is basically the comment dot id that we have associated with our comment so now we can we, we if we go to the confirm.py file here we just inside the comment form we will say content equal forms dot care field we are just what we are doing here is we are just uh, styling the styling the reply form or the comment form as well so inside that we'll write label equals nothing set it to nothing or empty string and uh, widget we will use here is widget equals form dot text area and inside that we pass the attributes uh, equals which is a dictionary like object and we'll pass form excuse me it should be class form control comma placeholder should be like text text goes here and number of rows for this text area should be like rows uh, we'll say four rows and the number of columns would be called for this uh, text area Yes, you can say 50. So, so if we save the file and if we go refresh the page, refresh the server, and if we go to the page here, refresh the page, and as you can see, the this is now in a styling form, which is the form control is the built-in bootstrap class as I mentioned earlier. So it is now looking nice and perfect, but see this comment form is not uh, setting up the whole thing, uh, whole uh, setting up into the whole page. So if you go to the Adam text editor and go to the post detail template, uh, this is the comment form that is looking weird. So just cop cut and cut it from here and include it inside the main comment section and. Um, inside that we'll write a div class here div class container fluid which is from mt like two and inside that we'll write the same div class form group of row and inside that just copy and cut and paste the form inside here so if we refresh the page as you can see it is now looking awesome the form the form each and every uh, the reply form and the comment form is now the same and looking just nice so guys uh, we need to stop here and in the next video lecture we will complete our comments and reply section so see you guys in the next video lecture